Good morning. My name is Judy Swigert, and I'm the superintendent here at Greater Latrobe School District. And I appreciate the opportunity to update uh, the community on some things that are going on in the school district and, of course, around the state. Um, the first thing, um, we're sitting here, and there's an article in the newspaper this morning about um, Governor Wolf signing the bill about the Keystone exams. And I think the article in the newspaper was pretty explanatory, but just so everyone understands, prior to that signature, um, the students uh, next year would have been required to pass a Keystone exam in three areas, and those are biology, algebra, and language arts. And um, by the signing uh, of Governor Wolf of this bill, um, that requirement for graduation has been extended, meaning that our students will still be taking those exams um, whenever they complete the course. This is different than the PSSAs. If you remember, the PSSAs are at the end of every year, third through eighth grade. These are course exams. So when a student completes biology, they take the biology keystone. And if they fail the biology keystone, they have an opportunity to take it again. And prior to this bill being signed by Governor Wolf, if they didn't pass it the second time, they would have had, had to take a remediation project and then have com having completed that successfully could have graduated. So what the uh, law that Governor Wolf signed does is makes the graduation requirement extended. So it's not going to be for that particular class. I think it's 18, 19 now. Um, so the students will still be taking the Keystone exams, but it's not a requirement for graduation from the state. Um, these exams, um, having been developed um, you know, a few years ago, are really based on the Pennsylvania core and what our students should know in those areas. And um, they are important and um, we continue to work on our curriculum to make sure that our students are able to pass those exams. So that's what that means if you've read that article in the newspaper. Um, more to come on that. Um, I think it also um, stated that the governor has uh, given direction to the Pennsylvania Department of Ed and the other organizations about um, discussing how that looks in the future. So there will be more to come on the Keystone exams and the requirement that they um, are for graduation. Um, the second thing I, I wanted to mention, and you might have read, but it really is a celebration of not only the school district but the community, and that is the completion of the A-plus campaign, which was a $5 million campaign run by the Greater Latrobe Partners in Education Foundation. And um, they s announced and celebrated their $5 million goal at the January board meeting. And there was a nice article in uh, the Latrobe Bulletin about that success and uh, Ray and Pam Mountjoy, uh, Ray being a 1963 graduate of Greater Latrobe, leading that campaign. And it is in support of our athletics, arts, and academics. And um, we really are very proud of that accomplishment. And obviously, the community is crucial to that. I wanted to note that, as you probably are aware, um, the school district has two school board meetings a month. One is called the Committee of the Whole. And what that is, is it's a meeting um, where the items that will be voted on the next week are discussed by the board and presentations are given. Um, there is no public comment at that meeting, but it is a very important meeting because obviously that's where the information is shared about what will be voted on the following week. Um, the following week, the following Tuesday, is the voting meeting of the board, and that is um, where the board actually votes on each of those items. There is generally not as much discussion because they have discussed it and information had been presented at the previous meeting. That is the meeting where the public can make comment about the items that are being voted on or um, um, general comments at the end of the meeting. Um, so um, I noted, uh, or Dr. Laughlin noted at last month's meeting, if you're unable to make either of those meetings, they are videotaped um, by the Greater Latrobe Community Network and they are um, available for view. So if you can't make one of the meetings or both of them, um, we hope you watch um, the uh, meetings online. Uh, they really are hopefully informative. And if 
we watch and you have questions about something that's discussed or something that doesn't seem to be clear, we really truly ask that you give us a call, um, myself, Mr. Watson, whoever it is that's presenting or what department is being um, that you're questioning. So um, it's just a note and uh, we appreciate the video being done of the board meetings because it does provide that community access. Um, wanted to also note, as I think I did in the last update that I did, uh, about the STEM initiative um, in the school district. Um, uh, this month and every month actually at the Committee of the Whole, um, various levels this year are reporting out on what they're doing with the STEM program. And this month and in April, um, Sherry Durgon, uh, Mrs. Durgon, who is our STEM coordinator at the elementary buildings, will be sharing um, Project Lead the Way modules with um, all of the board and the public. This month, which would be next Tuesday, I think it's the 9th or the 8th, I'm not sure, um, um, they are presenting the kindergarten and third grade program and Mrs. Durgon will be there and hopefully with some students to share what they're learning in those programs. It really is a unique and wonderful opportunity for our students to um, critically think and problem solve um, at that level. And if you ever have an opportunity and if you get to see these students in action, uh, you'll be amazed at um, the methods that they employ to solve a problem um, that is quite complex. So um, please, if you have an opportunity, um, watch the video or if you can attend the meeting um, on Tuesday. Um, one other thing that I wanted to mention is um, Career Pathways. Um, we are a part of the Westmoreland County Workforce Development Board, um, which is obviously made up of the entire county school districts as well as business partners and so on. Um, but in addition to that, um, we had started prior to the development of that organization um, the understanding of career pathways. And career pathways, as maybe the name um, indicates, is really an opportunity for a school district to help to initiate and to drive um, discussion and decisions about careers that students are interested um, in pursuing. Um, very clearly, if you ever have an opportunity to come to Bagley at the end of the year, the kindergarten does a program and they dress up in the uniform that they might wear when they do the career that they're interested in. And it's a very unique experience and it's a wonderful opportunity to see kindergarten students. But I often wonder when I'm sitting there what they might say about what they wanted to do in kindergarten when they're a senior in high school. So our job um, in the school district from kindergarten through graduation is how do we employ all of our resources to help students to decide and to recognize what their um, talents are and where they might have interests in pursuing a particular career. This is done through various opportunities, um, some of which we already employ in the district and some in, that we need to expand upon. Um, elective courses are a critical piece to this and STEM is one of them. You know, you hear a lot about STEM and the science and engineering and all of those kinds of things, but we clearly recognize that every student who comes through our buildings are not going to be engineers, nor should they be. Um, so how do we offer opportunities in those elective areas for students to understand that that might be an area of interest? So we're delving into this. It is uh, quite an extensive process because what you do not want to do is track students by abilities. It really is interest um, tracking and I may pursue a medical area career pathway, but I'm not going to be a doctor, I might be a technician, but I'm in the same pathway because it's a medical pathway. So we're starting this, we're starting with our next year uh, students coming in, um, so we're very excited and you'll be hearing more about it. And last, um, I wanted to mention um, the opportunity that the district has to build a new elementary school um, that will be located in the city of Latrobe. It is, um, the district has purchased um, the area that everyone calls the quote, old athletic field, which if you understand where the offices are for the administration building in the district, it is right across the street. It borders Ligonier and um, <clears throat> Lincoln Avenues and Cedar and Cherry. It is a, an opportunity for the district to provide um, uh, a new school building for our Latrobe Elementary students. Um, but also at this point, um, I just wanted to update the public and I think probably most people are aware 
the district has purchased um, the property from the city of Latrobe. That's who was the previous owner. Um, we are moving forward with what the architects call the schematic design. There is nothing yet to show, um, but hopefully in the next few months there will be. Um, and our goal and timeline is that next year at this time, uh, the district would be uh, approving bids um, for the various contracting services. Um, so it's a very long process um, to design and build an elementary school of approximately 120,000 square feet. But it is truly a unique and, and wonderful opportunity for the community and for the school district. So we're very excited about it. And we have, um, if you're interested, um, on our website uh, an LES building project. Um, note that if you click on that, it will take you to all of the resolutions that the board has voted on, as well as information pertaining to the building. For instance, the settlement agreement uh, for the purchase of the property, the appraisal of the property, all of those kinds of things that um, you might have interest in looking at. Um, and we will continue to add and eventually uh, put photographs um, of the progress of the building on that site as well. So again, it's on the district website, glsd.us, and just look for LES Building Project, and you'll, we'll be updating that um, with all of the information as we move through the project. So it's an exciting time here at Greater Latrobe. As always, um, I hope that you have a comfort level um, calling if you have any questions. Thank you very much.